Hi folks, it's Rich here. It's Puma hoodie weather for crying out loud. If you're in the UK, you'll know all about it. The weather is shocking. Excuse the bad hair day. Uh, it's just the way that is. Uh, anyway, those who know me will know I've been a massive Chapman fan. Still am. For a long time. Look, you see me hang on the wall. There. I've had 40 of them now. <laughs> 40, what a loony tune. And currently have five, but it's sort of with heavy heart, but it's time for a change. To what you might ask good question unclear it is time for a for a change i'm finding that i'm picking up the cap 10 all the time which is over here and my prs se swamp ash i'm picking up that a lot and the other chapmans i'm picking up now and again now and again that that's all and i appreciate you know you always lose money when you when you buy a guitar especially as tom has had all of these apart from that one to do his magic this one's got new pickups but notwithstanding ah, i'm making a big decision to sell all four of these well i regret it you know what i'm like maybe maybe not <laughs> so this one this is an ml3 when you'll see me play this one standard modern coil split which got some really nice tones with that coil split on there it's obviously metal orientated but doesn't have to be ebony fretboard 24 frets Ugh, rolled fingerboards lovely frets are polished it's got some tens on it it has oh, i cannot really you can see that from the previous owner some sort of light fine scratches on the back it's like some sort of a buckle rashy kind of thing i don't know but you have to, it has to be in the right light. Anyway, other than that, nothing wrong with it. So that's that one. Oh, put that there. Oh, this, this one is a hard one to sell. Just look at the top on this. <laughs> Depending on the light, when I come in here in the evening with a bit of light out the window, it's not doing it justice. It's like amber. It's, it's like Jurassic Park, that little with the mosquito in it. Uh, yeah, so this came from Anderton's, as you know, probably what, two, three months ago, something like that. Got some very, very fine scratches here on the on this plate, which I mentioned to them. But, you know, massive spec on these, isn't it? Hip shot, open gear, locking tuners, roller string trees, tusk nut, glow in the dark side dots, stainless steel frets, Seymour Duncan hot telly pickups, which as you know, uh, from hearing me and with, and with my black one previously, are absolutely brilliant. They take metal. If you turn the tone down a little bit in the volume, they clean up to sound very telly, excuse me, esque. It's got all this lovely chamber, uh, sorry, uh, contours on the body, high access for the neck, the brass saddles on here. These were a thousand quid when they're new. Uh, I paid 750 for this one. Um, so that's up for sale. It's got the, you can have strap buttons on here. That's that one. Blink, I'll put that back. This one, God, I lusted after one of these for ages. They've got quite hard to find because it's like 2017 model this it's got a couple of tiny little i mean you're not going to see it really on here a couple of tiny little dinks on it not not done by me of course uh brass saddle as you know tom had this one he set it up lovely the action uh, it's just i love the action low i don't know how he does it so low on there polished up the frets it's got the rolled fingerboard on it uh, this is a traditional sounding telly i got this to replace my squire classic vibe because i wanted a traditional sounding telly and that's exactly what that is and that's a beautiful guitar as well and then this one this one's going to be a money loss for me but aren't they all <laughs> this is a this is a rarity as well don't see many of these especially in this color it's an ml1 standard traditional from about 2017 full-size brass block it has got some signs of use on this one so there's a, a few a few scratches on the back um it's like pick kind of marks on the on the front again you have, you have to have a proper old look to, to to feel these kind of things but it's an old guitar but it's, overall it's in good condition uh, these are tone rider classic blues pickups which tom very kindly put in for me you've got brass saddles full-size brass block in the back here high access 22 frets roll fingerboards and a roll the roller string trees which tom put on for me again just a, a proper that i mean it's a proper strap you know it sounds up so here's that switch as well it's got a lovely switch Look, nice bit of resistance to it, but not too much. Lovely clicky. So that one is also up for sale in the back there. Break. What is not for sale is the Cap 10. That guitar, I absolutely love it. The feel, 
the sound, the pickups are so much better than the Seymour Duncans for me. The, just the whole thing on that guitar is just stunning. So, yes. So if you're interested, uh, send me a message in the Steve, Steve Cassidy, <laughs> in the comments below and we can get chatting about uh, prices on them. I'm realistic about what Chapman's are worth. I'm not one of these people that, you know, oh, I paid so much money for this one that I, I want 600 quid for it or whatever. They just don't sell for that. So I'm, I'm realistic about what, what these are worth. I can post by Parcel Force. I always use 48. I package things well, as you know, and I have sold guitars to other people off the Facebook Marketplace, people who have been on, on here. Hopefully you realize I can be trusted. Um, uh, my eBay account has got 1,400 positive feedback and my old account had 1,000 before that. So you, you can, you know, if you were to, if you wanted one of these guitars and you wanted to pay by PayPal or bank transfer or whatever you wanted to do, then I hope you know that you can trust me to send it to you, only in the UK, of course. So that's it. So it'll be, yeah, apart from keeping the cap 10, there are a couple of other Chapmans that if they came up and I could afford it at the time, I would get. But yeah, I think it's time for something else. You know, I... I've really enjoyed the PRS, so there might be another PRS in the in the making, and uh, I, I really do fancy a, a sort of a proper Fender traditional telly of some sort. Because I'm a telly man, as you know. I've still got a, I still quite fancy having. Uh, there's a couple of Ibanez I really like, and maybe Gibson. I don't know, but let's see if I can sell these, get some money back in the pot, and have a little think about where we go. Thank you.